Hi, this is Sally Morgan, physical therapist, craniosacral therapist, and Tellington T-Touch practitioner for animals and people. And this is Tristan. He's a corgi. And this is an episode of Conversations with a Corgi, where we are continuing to look at botanical animal flower essences. And today's essence includes one of my favorite flowers, the daisy. The essence we'll be talking about today is called Easy Does It. And this again, as I said, is from Botanical Animal. And Easy Does It is for destructive behavior and constant barking. It's very different from Mellow Out, which is for a nervous dog. This is for destructive behavior and constant barking. Easy Does It says it's for incidents of obsessive, destructive, or disruptive behavior or to property. Includes chewing of household items, urinating on furniture when left alone, demanding excessive attention at all times, constant crying and whining. Helps address frustration, loneliness, jealousy, overprotectiveness, boredom, and feeling victimized. And when you see the properties of the flowers that are in this essence, you will see some of the underlying reasons why your dog or your cat may be doing some of these behaviors. Um, you know, destroying furniture, whining, crying, urinating, chewing on household items. There are a lot of reasons that would create such destructive behavior. And Easy Does It is a great flower essence if you're struggling with some of these issues. Some of the things in Easy Does It of flowers include soapberry, clematis, cosmos, dill, daisies, uh, horse chestnut, sweet chestnut, and knotweed. So we'll take a look at these individually, starting with dill, which has a very close relationship to celery. No wonder I love both of them. Dill assists with the ability to absorb and assess a wide variety of sensory experiences. So if your dog is overwhelmed and destroying the environment and missing you so much, for instance, with separation anxiety, there's too much stimulation coming in. They can't process everything at once. Um, it's for animals that have a heightened sense of taste, touch, sight, smell. Kind of like that feeling you get when you have a headache and any loud noise or smell or even dull light really just sets you off. That's kind of what your dog is struggling with when they are destroying the house and they need something like Easy Does It. It's for overwhelm due to excessive stimulation or hypersensitivity to the environment. So a lot of these flower essences in Easy Does It relate to too much stress from things coming in from the environment. It's been used as an herb for digestion. So the flower essence of dill will also help with digesting life experiences. So helping your animal understand more about what's happening to them and how, how that impacts them. For instance, you leaving. Um, are you coming home? When are you coming home? How will your relationship be when you return? These are all things that the dog can get really upset about, but the power of dill will help them keep calm in the uncertainty of your absence. Um, it helps them be receptive to the food of the soul in the environment. So you find out what in the environment is going to assist you and speak to your higher self and bring that in. That's what dill helps to do to help you stop that obsessive destructive behavior. Dill is from the Norse word to lull. And of course, that's what you want to maintain focus and intention. You want to be lulled, not destructive. <laughs> um, it expresses what is inside no matter what is going on on the outside. So inside your dog or your cat doesn't want to destroy the house and pee on everything and eat furniture and that goodness is allowed to shine through through whatever bad behavior you see on the outside thanks to the flower essence of dill which is the first one in easy does it the next one we're going to talk about in easy does it is one we talked about yesterday the beautiful clematis and also i'd like to point out many of the flower essences in easy does it are tiny little white flowers and if anyone's ever had a dill go to flower i don't think any of mine are yet at that point um, but they are really small flowers with fluffy leaves um, the clematis on the other hand has big flowers so it's a little different from some of the others that are in this 
And like so many of the flowers that we use in flower essences, clematis has anti-inflammatory properties. It has anti antimicrobial effects and also is cytotoxic. It's a climbing perennial, as I said yesterday, with over 355 species. There's a lot of varieties of clematis and it's related to the buttercup. And of course the buttercup um, is known for you know, doing that childhood game where you reflect it on your chin and see the golden yellow glow. So again, it speaks to that idea of um, the good on the inside coming to the outside that we need when your dog is destroying the house. And that's another reason it's an easy does it. Native Americans use clematis for skin irritations and for treating tumors and cancers. Um, clematis montana particularly is used in Chinese herbal medicine and is called mutong and that is to decrease fever and increase urination and promote lactation. So you'll see many of these flower essences in Easy Does It have to do with promoting circulation, promoting neuroconnection, and in this case, promoting fluid flow for lactation and urination. Um, and as I said, the clematis can be used for smoking. Bach described its use for those who are dreamy, drowsy, not fully awake, and have lost interest in life. Again, we'll see that echo of lost interest in life and hopelessness in some of these flower essences that are in Easy Does It. So when your dog is destroying the house, he's not doing it to act out and be bad. It's because he just is beyond himself and has no idea what else to do. The same with your cat who's not going in the box, although there could be some underlying medical issues with a situation like that. Um, if you have lost interest in life and you're unhappy in your current circumstance or you're living in the future and not staying in the present, that is a reason that you would want dill flower essence. For illness, it may be for those who are looking forward to death and not finishing their business in the present. And it brings you down to earth so that you can complete your business on this plane. And for instance, if your dog is destroying the house, the dill will help him recognize the safety and comfort of his environment when you're not there so that he can adjust. And again, we saw with dill, it's a lack of understanding of your safety and your environment that that addresses. And that's part of what's going on when your dog is tearing up the house. Um, it brings stability, clematis does. It brings you down to earth. Um, a person or an animal that needs clematis may appear lost in their dreams and not fully awake and they seem happy and quiet and gentle but on the inside there's turmoil going on and they have lost their joy and their happiness so that's the one of the other flower essences in the combination that we call easy does it the next one is soap berry and soap berries are also called shepherdia or buffalo berry and they have oval bright red berries and they've been used for constipation and gallstones again that idea of improving circulation and movement gallstones are stagnation constipation is stagnation so a lot of the things in easy does it are going to help move energy and um, feelings through your dog so that he can get to the point where he can control himself Soapberry helps improve delight in nature and clears and balances several of the chakras, including the occipital chakra at the base of the neck, the third eye chakra between the other two eyes, and the back of the throat chakra. All of these also are related to the heart chakra. So you're getting the top of the heart chakra with what soapberry addresses. So therefore, soapberry is useful for aligning the physical body and the physical structure. And as you know from T-Touch, um, physical balance results in mental and emotional balance. So having something like soapberry and a flower essence called Easy Does It helps your animal find their physical balance so that they can regain their emotional balance. Very important that it addresses all of these upper chakras. And some of the other ones in Easy Does It address some of the lower chakras. It's for those who have lost their balance from the modern hectic life and they're out of touch with the rhythms of nature. And again, that speaks to the idea of being in that sympathetic stress part of the nervous system on override, which is what's happening when your dog is tearing up the house or urinating or doing any other destructive obsessive behaviors, barking. 
that sort of thing. They are out of touch with the natural rhythms, the cycles of coming and going of their own body, of knowing and feeling they're safe because they're connected to the rhythms of nature. Soap Berry will bring him back to that connection with nature and rebalance that sympathetic stress nervous system with the peace parasympathetic nervous system so that your dog can find his mental balance as well as his physical balance. Because it works with the upper chakras, Soapberry has been useful for headaches, tight necks, tight shoulders, and um, it used to be whipped up into a foam, the berries, and used to make what they called Indian ice cream. So you can imagine these berries, they look they're like red and they're kind of like a jelly bean. So whipped up and fluffy, um, they can be eaten and they're quite tasty. Soapberry provides a relaxed strength by decreasing the tension in the neck and shoulders and allows information to come in through these areas, meaning the third eye, the heart, and the throat chakras. So again, it's that idea we saw with some of the other flower essences in Easy Does It of being able to understand your environment. We saw with Dill that they are no longer connected to their environment. They're out of touch with their environment. They've shut off their senses to the environment. And again, like the Dill, the soap berry will open up your dog's ability to experience what's truly happening in his environment so that he's not going berserk eating the rug. The next element in soap berry, and I had some, but they don't seem to be blooming right now, are Cosmos, one of my favorite flowers. And in fact, I have white Cosmos in my garden, not the pink and purple ones. And again, Cosmos are related to the daisy and the sunflower. So the daisy, my friend, is an important element in the flower essences combined to make Easy Does It. Of course, the Cosmos is an annual and it's pink and white and magenta flowers. Um, they're they have fine and thin little leaves, as does the dill. So again, we'll see this in several of the flowers that are in Easy Does It, in their leaves. They're kind of um, tiny little branchy things, kind of like uh, what a neuron looks like in your brain or a dendrite or parts of your circular system, so, so your circulation system. So again, we get to that idea of increasing flow in the fluid systems of the body in many of these flower essences that are in Easy Does It. Cosmos is considered the plant associated with those born in the sign of Gemini, which we just passed. And so therefore, it's also associated with light and air. Because of those fluffy little leaves they have and the way that they grow really tall like a sunflower, they are, of course, a combination of light and air. And when you think about it, if you have too much light and air, you're not grounded. So a dog that's tearing up your house is not grounded. And the soap berry will help him find some of that grounding, or the cosmos. It's helping you to integrate, integrate consciousness and allows many parts to speak as one whole. So again, if you are preoccupied with one little thing, you're not able to see the big picture. And that's what happens when you leave your dog at home alone. He's so obsessed with the fact that you left that he can't see the big picture, that he's safe and he's happy and you always come home and he's had good meals and that you love him and that nothing bad is happening to him anymore. So that's part of what the cosmos will help with, getting back to the big picture instead of focusing on the tiny little detail that's upsetting you. Um, uh, bright colors are often associated with the vibrant life force, and we see a little bit of a depressed life force in animals that need um, Easy Does It. So those bright colored flowers on the cosmos are associated with that vibrant life force. Cosmos, as would being associated with the Geminis, engage clear thinking and seeing clearly from an awake mind. Geminis are obsessed with reading and information gathering. And so it's really important to see that in the cosmos as a way for your dog to look at the whole environment, assess the environment, see that everything's as it was, but you just left the house <laughs> so that everything's still okay. Um, Cosmos help free up the throat to help with the spoken word. So if your dog is ex obsessively whining and barking, like my neighbor dogs bark sometimes for hours, um, that, that, that constant barking just gets into this circular system, really related to the idea of the tight jaw, 
which feeds into the reticular activating system, which is a part of your brain that is activated when you're in high stress. Again, that sympathetic nervous system response. So the more the dog barks, the more, it's like tooth clenching, the more they're engaging that reticular activating system, which causes them to bark more. And they're in this circular hamster wheel that they can't get off of. So that obsessive barking will be helped by the cosmos because it helps be clear in your spoken word. So the dog might bark three times and say, oh my God, don't leave me. Oh, you're going. Okay, and then they see the environment, see that they're safe, and they're able to carry on normally without tearing up things and barking for three hours. It's for those who are disorganized in communication, the cosmos is. So that obsessive barking and whining is certainly disorganized communication. And for unfocused and overexcited speech, again, that's the bark, 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 bark. And for those who are overwhelmed by too many ideas, too much coming in, again, that idea of the sensory stimulation of the environment being overwhelming and the dog can't or the cat can't cope. So it's kind of like what happens when people are autistic. There's so much sensory information coming in that they can't process it. And so the cosmos will help them calm down and see each thing individually and integrate it. It's to help you have coherent thinking. And this is an aspect we have in lots of our T-Touch work, is to help with clear thinking. Help your dog calm down so that he can think clearly. So if you do need to use Easy Does It because your dog is tearing up the house, it would also be a good idea to look back at our prior episodes of conversations with a corgi at some of the tea touches, particularly for the mouth, the tail, and the ears, as well as some of the basic circular touches like clouded and lying leopard, to help your dog find a better way to think and calm down and come into his body and not be on override with that whole system of barking obsessively. You need to get them to a point where they can take the information you're giving them calmly and see what's going on around them and assess it without being um, in an obsessive state. So combined with T-Touch, Easy Does It can be a good solution. And sometimes using this flower essence for a little while before you begin the T-Touches for a dog like this helps him calm down to the point where he can better use the information from the T-Touches. So Cosmos helps bring focus and clarity. And the next flower essence in Easy Does It is my friend, the Daisy. We're all wearing daisies today, aren't we, Biscuit? The Daisy helps you stay centered and grounded and under control when things could throw you off balance. For instance, the person leaving the house or even just moving the furniture around the house or you know, a new dog coming into the house, anything that throws you off balance, the Daisy can help you stay grounded. And they're such beautiful flowers and they're interesting because like Cosmos, they get quite tall. I have tons of them in my side garden and they are up to my waist and yet they are deeply connected to the earth and help you stay grounded when you're not. They help keep your composure, maintain your calm, collect your thoughts. And they're for those whose thoughts feel like they can't move on. They're just going around in circles almost. And you're feeling vulnerable, shy, overwhelmed, and insecure. And interestingly, the daisy is for the, the solar plexus, the third chakra. And notice how it's shaped with a shining light in the center surrounded by all the petals. And your third chakra is your solar plexus, interestingly named solar plexus. And that is your connection to the universe and it helps keep you grounded. So, um, and it's your center. So connecting with your solar plexus through the daisy can help you calm down and listen to yourself, listen to the information from your environment so that you're not predisposed to barking and whining and tearing up the house. Um, daisies can help you organize broken up ideas and thoughts, that fragmented thoughts. It's almost like static coming into your dog's brain when he's tearing up the house. And the daisy can help organize that and smooth it out so that your dog can think and focus and have focused thinking. And also daisy is important to manifest dreams into creativity. So this is an interesting one in terms of your dog. But you know, every dog wants to connect with us and be part of our lives and be a helpful and happy member of our, our family and our life. And so if the dog is tearing up the house and getting yelled at and disappointing you, he is not able to bring his dreams to reality. 
you know, so but helping him calm down enough so that he can be the dog that you come home and say, oh my gosh, Fluffy, I love you so much. I missed you so much. Look how good you've been. Let's take a walk. Let's play. Because now you can enjoy your dog instead of coming home to clean up the mess and figuring out how you're going to buy a new sofa again. So Daisy is a really important part of Easy Does It to help your dog stay grounded and help with some of those thoughts of overwhelm. The next one in Easy Does It is the knotweed. And again, these are little white flowers and it enhances clear thinking and the synaptic connections in the brain. And in fact, the little flowers on knotweed look like neurons or axons or dendrites in the brain. They are really, they look like a piece of the nervous system. And in fact, knotweed helps restore damaged nerves in the limbs and improves five fine motor skills and dexterity. It's improvement for those with decreased motor abilities. And honestly, when I was reading that, I thought for our dogs with DM, just the plain flower essence of knotweed, how helpful that must be for them. So if you have a dog with DM, I would look on the internet and find just a plain flower essence, a flower essence, not something else, not an herbal remedy, a flower essence of knotweed, and there's plenty of them available, and try that for your dog with DM to help improve the connections in the nervous system, because it could be really useful. I certainly would use it for my dog, because it does improve motor abilities, and it does help the nervous system. It clears blockages in the nervous system, and it clears self-limiting beliefs about your own ability to heal and be healed. So think about that. When your dog's tearing up the house or barking obsessively and they can't shut that off because the reticular activating system has been churned up and once that starts going on that circular pattern of the more chewing and barking, the more that's stimulated, the more chewing and barking, there's nothing to stop that. But the knotweed will come into that circular thing and help clear the nervous system of blockages so that you can think clearly and be healed. It has tiny white flowers with leaves shaped like lilac leaves, and it's actually quite invasive in a lot of New York State and the Adirondacks. Um, It's edible, and interestingly enough, it's got broad-spectrum antibacterial properties, and it has been used most recently as a treatment for Lyme disease. And it's very interesting when you think about its properties and its use herbally for Lyme disease because it does have this antibacterial property that kills the spirochetes in Lyme disease. And it also has anti-inflammatory properties which help the joints when they are involved in Lyme disease. So again, if I had a dog with a really serious case of Lyme disease, I would definitely get some knotweed flower essence for him. And then you'd have to talk to an herbal practitioner vet to find out what dose and type of knotweed you'd wanna give him as an herbal remedy. And just to be clear here, herbal remedies are made of the leaves and roots of the plants, the bark, um, and that is a special preparation. It's very different from the homeopathic qualities of flower essences, which are very dilute preparations using the energetic force of flowers. So the herbal remedies are plant-based, but they are very different from flower essences. But the knotweed, as an herb could be really helpful for um, arthritis and Lyme treatment and any other issues where you need a broad spectrum antibacterial. Um, As a flower essence, knotweed enhances awareness and sensitivity. So one would think that with that stimulation from the environment being overwhelming to the senses, you wouldn't want your animal to be more sensitive. But in fact, they're Um, obsessive behavior has cut them off from what is the true sensory input coming in. So you want them to be more sensitive so that they can see the comfort and happiness in their environment and not just be obsessed with their thoughts about you leaving or, you know, they've got to chew up this furniture because now they've started and they just can't stop the chewing going on. And knotweed is particularly important when you are closed off to your own healing. It contains something Um, Well, we'll talk about that first. Your own healing, when you are shut off to your own healing, you know, you've got that poor dog with that reticular activating system going on where he can't stop chewing or barking or biting or, you know, licking himself obsessively, whatever whining is going on. Um, Part of that is because he can't see a way out of that. He can't see the way to his own healing. So the knotweed can help with that. Knotweed also contains an important chemical called resveratrol, which is for increasing blood flow. And it's been used 
in treating people with heart disease. So again, that idea of increasing flow comes in with yet another flower essence that is in Easy Does It. And there are ongoing studies uh, with knotweed for, oh, I have an ant on me. Get to, well, there he goes. Uh, ongoing studies with knotweed for its ability to reverse um, fat in the liver from alcohol disease, alcoholism. So apparently it's quite effective for that and they're still looking into that. So when you think about it, alcoholism is related to that obsessive behavior of your dog and knotweed has been looked at as a way to reverse that destruction to the liver. So again, that healing from the inside out in order to go back to a balanced, steady state where your stress and peace systems in your nervous system are balanced. And the last two components of Easy Does It are both chestnuts. And there are many kinds of chestnuts. And boy, I sure remember the chestnut crepes in Paris on the streets. That was some of my most joyful eating in my life were those delicious uh, crepes with the chestnut in them and you can get them everywhere in Paris and they're really cheap and really delicious and I have some chestnut stuffing here but I don't dare try to use it because my crepe skills are not that brilliant so sweet chestnut again tiny little white flowers are for those who have reached their limits of endurance and see no way out of difficulties and they're feeling hopeless and empty and that's what happens when your dog is barking or tearing up your house we have ant situation here. It's for those who are at the end of the line and as Dr. Bach describes it, appalling final despair. So when you have no idea what to do, you just freak out and your dog or your cat destroys your house. It's to renew hope and strength and regain the ability to move forward. So you've lost that when you're destructive. Bach says it's when anguish is unbearable and for those who are at their limits and at emptiness, but not with thoughts of suicide. That's what Gorse addresses. Sweet chestnut is for those who feel hopeless and don't even have enough um, wherewithal to consider suicide. They have no plan. They're just in this circular, terrible situation of feeling hopeless and despairing. So sweet chestnut addresses those who have a sense of emptiness and they are feeling hopeless and unprotected and in acute despair. And there's been a description of sweet chestnut as something you need when you're in the dark night of the soul. And of course, that's what happens when you have a life-threatening disease or when you feel out of control in other ways from your environment, like your person leaving when you don't know when they're coming back. So it's really important if you do leave and you have a dog like this to really take a few minutes and verbally explain to them, I'm leaving, I'll be right back. If I'm not right back, I will be back soon thereafter. I love you, I will take care of you, we will always be together. Really reassure your dog if you've got one acting like this when you leave the house. So that fear of the dark night of the soul is part of what Sweet Chestnut addresses and what you get on the other side of the dark night of the soul is transformation to a much better life and a deeper understanding and it helps the uh, sweet chestnut helps break up old patterns of thought so that you can get to that transformation. So that's all the other flower essences we've looked at in this, um, Easy Does It, have that element of the good qualities being inside but not coming out to the forefront. And so that again speaks to that idea of the dark night of the soul. And I have been there myself. I have had two or three dark nights of the soul in my lifetime. And I can tell you, you just are it's like months go by and it feels like a day. It's like someone who's in a deep, deep depression kind of a thing where you're just not really connected to what's going on around you. And certainly every time that happens, I've had a great transformation. And part of that comes from reconnecting with your soul in a deep way. And so these flower essences can help that. In particular, the chestnuts help with that. It helps welcome the ability to believe again. It's for those who have been lost, but know they will be found. So that is the um, flower essence of sweet chestnut. And it brings you to new levels of consciousness. And also sweet chestnut brings you to divine connection, connection with God or your higher power, whatever it is. But really, again, that idea of your higher power taking over so that you don't have to try to um, control things in your environment anymore. The last element in Easy Does It is the horse chestnut, also called the white chestnut. 
and they were native to the Balkans and they also have tiny little white flowers and they have been used for centuries for vascular disease. So again, lots of these are associated with increasing circulation, increase, increasing circulation in the central nervous system with knotweed and with horse chestnut and some of the others, increasing vascular circulation or cardiac circulation or blood circulation. And horse chestnut has been used for kidney stones and hemorrhoids and venous insufficiency. So again, that idea of clearing out the blockages because that's part of why your dog's tearing up the house. It's for those who can't prevent thoughts and ideas that they don't desire from entering their mind. So when your dog starts barking, you know, it's not comfortable for them to bark for an hour, but they can't stop these terrible thoughts that are coming into their mind and they're on this hamster wheel of destructive thoughts going around and around and all they can do is chew on things or bark. And again, it gets back to the idea of being out of balance with the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. When you are in a high state of stress and the sympathetic nervous system is on overdrive, that reticular activating system in your brain is in that stress mode and it causes biting, chewing, barking, all kinds of oral motor um, you know, obsessiveness to go on. And so the horse chestnut will help with that. Horse chestnut also has strong antioxidant properties, which is an important thing for a lot of us in a toxic environment. And sometimes your dogs are acting like this because they do have too much toxins in their environment. Look at what kinds of floor cleaners and carpet stuff you're using. And if you're spraying Febreze around your house, stop doing it because it's toxic to you and your dog. Um, or even burning some scented candles. Sometimes that, that has too many toxic chemicals in it as well, which might not be good for a sensitive dog or you. Um, coarse chestnut has strengthened the capillaries and it's for those who cannot um, stay connected to the present moment. So again, the dog can't see that he's in a safe and healthy and happy environment. All he can see is what's happened that you left and they can't see the goodness of the things around them. And so the horse chestnut helps them stay connected to this moment. I'm safe. Nothing going on here. I've got a bowl of clean water. I've got my bones to chew. Why am I upset? Horse chestnut helps with thoughts of worry and especially those circular thoughts or mental torture. And I think about this in terms of what happens to a person in the middle of the night when they're so upset about like maybe what's on the grocery list or not forgetting to pick up the child at a new place the next day and you just can't sleep because all you can think about is all the things that can go wrong. What if your boss doesn't let you leave early? What if your kid forgets to go to the other place? Like you just are in this obsessive circular thing and that's what's happening to your dog when he's tearing up the house and you need the horse chestnut in Easy Does It to help break up that, that circular thought. Um, it, and a lot of these circular thoughts will break up your peace and interfere with your ability to either do work or to find pleasure. So your dog can't do what you're asking him to do, nor can he find pleasure in the bone you're leaving him when you go out the door. So the uh, horse chestnut in particular will help with that. It increases calm thoughts and meditative um, abilities so that you can hear your soul messages. And again, it helps your dog connect back to that good dog that you'd like him to be, who is calm and comfortable and happy when you're home and that you come home to your house not being torn up so that the two of you can have a good game together instead of having to feel frustrated and upset after a long day or a quick trip out and you know, 15 stoplights and now you come home and your dog has chewed up your favorite stool. So this helps your dog find a meditative state so he can hear his soul messages of, I'm calm, I'm safe, I'm protected, I'm loved. And just like so many of these other flower essences helped with different types of congestion, the horse chestnut helps with mental congestion and obstructed clarity. And it helps with feelings of guilt, depression, confusion, that idea of insomnia and headaches and that circular reasoning and thought process that get us all really agitated. So horse chestnut helps regain calm and you need calm to be able to stop chewing and barking and obsessively tearing things up, urinating out of your box and all of that. So today we've been talking about Easy Does It Flower Essence from Botanical Animal and it's for destructive behavior and constant barking and 
<clears throat> the more description of it says that it's for incidents of obsessive, destructive, or disruptive behavior to property. It includes chewing of household items, urinating on furniture when left alone, demanding exclusive attention at all times, and constant whining or crying. Helps address frustration, loneliness, jealousy, overprotectiveness, boredom, and feeling victimized. So this is a lot of kind of negative emotion that could be going on with your dog when he's acting like this. And this particular flower essence helps address some of those feelings and helps your dog connect with the good, you know, generous, calm, gentle person on the inside of him so that he will not be doing this. And I often have used Easy Does It in my own work as a holistic physical therapist when I'm working particularly with emotion code work for pets. Emotion code releases trapped emotions um, in the body that are, help, that are preventing the animal from moving forward with his true mission in life and his sole purpose. And so Easy Does It often um, needs to be used in conjunction with emotion code because sometimes those trapped emotions are so deeply rooted and they may even be ancestral. And until those are released, the dog can't fully come into the calm little guy like Tristan is and enjoy his environment and understand when there's change that it's not the end of the world and just kind of go with the flow. Like so many of those flower essences in Easy Does It help improve circulation and fluid exchange. You want to go with the flow and have an Easy Does It time throughout your day. And no matter what's happening, you're easy about it. And this is different from Mellow Out. Mellow Out is for nervous or jittery animals that may be moody and on edge and irritable. They are not acting out with this destructive behavior that they can't get out of. They're just jumpy. So Easy Does It often is um, one that a lot of people buy in combination with Mellow Out because Mellow Out helps your dog be calmer around other dogs and with unexpected circumstances. But a dog that needs Mellow Out usually can, with some help, tea touch, flower essences, etc., modulate their behavior better than a dog who needs Easy Does It. Easy Does It, they just, they are out of their mind and they can't stop this behavior because again, it's going into the sympathetic nervous system, that stress component, and it's got that reticular activating system, circular thing with the, with the jaw and the chewing and the biting and the barking. And the only things I know that can uh, address that are this flower essence, easy does it, Tellington T-Touch work, and craniosacral therapy. Those techniques work on the central nervous system on a very deep way. They're very gentle, but they can stop that circular connection and change things. And you, you may find a dog, for instance, who is pretty good most of the time, and then after you have some dental work, maybe the dog needed to have a lot of teeth pulled, um, that trauma to the jaw can engage this reticular activating system, circular uh, kind of hamster wheel of bite and stress increase, bite more and more stress, bite more and more stress. And so you may have a dog that was good and now he's starting to be obsessively biting, barking, whining. And I know a dog who actually ended up like this, whining and howling incessantly when his people left him after he had a lot of dental work. So Easy Does It is a great one to use um, to keep in mind for a dog who has all of these destructive behaviors. And think about it, if your dog has had some kind of dental work or some issue with his jaw fracture or something like that, if his behavior changes, Easy Does It may be what he needs. And if your dog really has a serious problem with some of these issues of barking and biting and chewing, you may want to schedule an appointment to have an emotion code session done as well. I do it long distance. And we will certainly be talking more about that in depth as we progress with our conversations with a corgi. So this has been Sally Morgan and Tristan Corgi, who's getting really tired. It's very humid out here. There's like a 75% heat index or humidity. What is it? Precipitation? I don't know, but it's very humid. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to start late today because it was again raining but I wanted to be in the garden and certainly this bird has been enjoying this conversation with a corgi so he's glad we're out here and I wanted you to see over here my beautiful hydrangeas they look like little fairy fairy flowers with because there's a big flower in the center and lots of little ones around it I love them and they are my favorite color periwinkle so we will be back tomorrow with another episode of Conversations with a Corgi, where we will continue looking at some of the flower essences from Botanical Animal that can help your dog improve his behavior and improve your relationship with your dog. Thanks for joining us today. Tristan, what do you have to say? And hopefully it won't be raining tomorrow so we can start on time. Okay.
thanks to the beautiful daisies that give us joy and also healing. That's it. Easy does it. We'll be back tomorrow for another episode of Conversations with a Corgi. Thanks for joining us.